The year was 2008, and on a certain GameFAQs spin-off board, one user had decided to undertake a daring heist. Epitaph Philip, or just Philip for short, posted a thread titled, My Dream is Becoming a Reality, Operation Soda Steel. He shared some concept art drawn in MS Paint in order to demonstrate the plan. As you can see, it's a bold design that's elegant in its simplicity. While on the outside you would appear as an ordinary patron just filling up your cup with soda, in reality the soda had done gone down the tube into a discreet container located in the backpack. And Philip was almost done constructing the first version of the device. He shows off the cup with the tube sticking out of the bottom as well as the actual container itself. He writes, Check it out. The inner venting tube extends out to become the straw. Genius engineering. Actually, I don't think the vent tube is very necessary at all, but it's a cool idea. I tested it in the shower and it works pretty well. I ran out of hot glue though, so there were some small leaks. Hopefully I can complete it by tomorrow and take it out for a spin. I might record it. Taco Bell never know what hit him. Many people were quite amused by this concept. Some rightfully pointed out that this was a lot of effort just for several dollars worth of soda. Why can't you just buy soda? It'd be different if somehow you could do this with gasoline or like gold or something. Soda is inexpensive. I mean, don't get me wrong, the concept and idea rock my balls. However, he explained, It's not about the soda. I probably won't even drink half of it. It's the accomplishment. And it's fun. In fact, there was actually another reason why he had no choice but to pull off a stunt like this. I'm sure you're aware that in 2004, PepsiCo released a Mountain Dew flavor exclusive to Taco Bell restaurants known as Baja Blast. Sure, nowadays everybody knows that they've had limited run retail releases in stores across the US and Canada, but back in 2008, the only possible way to get Baja Blast was at a Taco Bell location, which needless to say is absolute tyranny of the highest degree. In a way, this could be seen as an act of rebellion against an unjust system. I believe you could easily argue that in this scenario, stealing Baja Blast would be the morally correct thing to do. User John Cena 23 was the first to suggest Baja Blast as the beverage of choice, and many others echoed this sentiment. TC better fucking fill it up with Baja Blast. They only sell it at Taco Bell. It'd be so awesome to have a huge container of it. Oh, I'll get the Baja Blast. In terms of construction, he realized that, despite the iconic look seen in the concept art, a backpack design simply wasn't going to be feasible because of possible gravity-related flow issues. He instead planned to utilize a shoulder strap duffel bag approach. He also began answering questions from other users. When asked about the cup part, he explained that he planned to buy a large drink at the restaurant in order to avoid suspicion, then he'll switch it out with the rigged cup system when nobody's looking. Someone asks if he's concerned that it'll look suspicious just standing at the soda fountain filling up the same cup for like 10 minutes straight. He says that he'll try to go during off hours when it isn't too busy, and that he also might make multiple trips instead of doing it all at once. User Duct Tape Avenger says, I recommend you pick a time where the restaurant is nearly empty, and a restaurant where the soda machines aren't clearly viewable by the employees. Hard to find, but I can think of a few. Thanks DTA, very cool. Many people began offering engineering advice. Ty Caro suggests creating an implement which could puncture the bottom of a cup instead of bringing in an already rigged up one. Eventually people realized that the soda falling in from the top of the tank would noisily splash down and make the soda flat, so they brainstormed some alternate designs. Tilted Driveway points out that this particular design wouldn't work since the tube at the bottom would create pressure as the tank is filled up. Matt Johnson Extreme theorizes that using some kind of ramp could prevent the soda from going flat. Much theory crafting and MS painting ensues while people wait for an update from Philip. The next day he posts letting people know that he's still working on the contraption and he appreciates all the feedback and general enthusiasm. He posts another update the following day discussing his work on the project, however he decides he needs a better container, as the one he's working with right now isn't airtight around the seal. A couple days later, he posts a picture of the new container and tube system, and the day after that he posts a pic of the final version. Ultimately, he ended up removing the vent that was running through the transfer tube since it restricted the flow of liquid too much, opting for a separate small tube on the top of the container. He also found an appropriately sized bag in order to conceal it. Moreover, he stated, No guarantees, but I might try it tonight with a friend. He once again reiterates that, I'm well aware doing this for the sole purpose of getting soda is a dumb idea, 
That's why I'm not only doing it for that reason. It's a fun project and will be a good story to tell. Not to mention it provides entertainment for all of you guys. People wait patiently for a couple hours when finally he returns. Fucking did it. I'm gonna upload the video now. I'm not gonna spoil any results. I filmed it with my shitty digicam. It's in three separate parts. I'm not gonna edit anything out or anything, just upload them raw. Oh yeah, and I should note the filming is really shaky at parts. I felt sort of weird holding a camera recording everything, so at parts I put it down by my side to make it look less obvious. Yes, he explains that he was actually not the one who collected the soda from the machine. He was hanging back recording the video for the internet while he had recruited his friend to wear the contraption and get the Baja Blast. About an hour after returning, he posts a mega upload link containing the raw footage of the event. Immediately he is showered with praise from the community. People were very impressed that he actually delivered on this insane premise. Even I chimed in with some insightful commentary. Wow, this topic is mega awesome. When someone asks if the employees said anything, he explains that, and I know this is going to be hard to believe, the minimum wage Taco Bell employees didn't really give a shit or pay attention to him at all. The next morning he posts an update about the status of the soda. The container is two and a half gallons, so I think it's safe to say we collected about two gallons. As of this morning it's got a little fizz left, but it's definitely gotten flatter. So this is the part of the video where I should show you the raw footage, <laughs> but unfortunately. And believe me, it really pains me to say this. I can't. I mean, obviously Mega Upload is down now, and sadly, I am almost certain that this raw footage simply does not exist anywhere on the internet anymore. And I promise you, I was extremely thorough in my search. It probably still does exist somewhere on someone's ancient hard drive, and I watched it back in the day, so I can 100% promise you it did exist, but I can't show you the raw footage of the event. However, User Navy Greg cut the raw footage down into one short 4 megabyte video, which was also distributed and shared around by Philip. And thankfully, this video does still exist. The editing is kind of strange, cutting between the aftermath and the event itself, and it deliberately avoids showing the bagman's face, so it's a little jumpy at times. But here it is, in all its 240p 4 megabyte glory. Let's see where to start the cup. Can I have your drink? Cup, extra large taco bell cup we got beforehand. Put this funnel in here, super glued it. You can see it comes out the bottom. Then add this tube, which then goes through the sleeve of the jacket. down to the side bag. Which conveniently perfectly fit. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's some light. Bring it out in the light. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That Container. And there's the fruits of our labor. So, um, that's pretty much it. Proudly say I'm one of the few people privileged enough to enjoy Baja Blast in the confines of my own home. Wow, incredible stuff. Many people asked him if he planned on uploading his accomplishment to YouTube. This is what he had to say about the matter. I'm still considering that. I really want to, because obviously I want to share it with the world. Plus it's easier to view. But on the other hand, I'm a little scared of getting caught. Then again, it would be hard to track me down based on only what I look like. It's pretty tame, really. It's hard to imagine someone taking the effort to track me down because I stole like a dollar worth of soda, or what, like $20 even, counting markup. Or it's arguably not even illegal at all, considering there are free refills, and I mean, it's possible that someone could even drink that much soda in one sitting if they wanted to. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it too far-fetched that anything bad happens to me slash anyone even cares? Soon after that he posted, I've decided I am going to put it on YouTube, but a better edited version and a clear disclaimer stating I don't condone stealing. It technically isn't stealing, arguably, and emphasizing the purpose being a fun project. 
However, due to events that would soon transpire, he would never actually end up uploading the video to YouTube. You see, a couple hours after he made that post, someone in the thread noticed that the 4 megabyte version of the video was already uploaded onto fucking collegehumor.com of all places. Looks like I just got ripped off. Yes, some fucking guy called Steve just went ahead and re-uploaded it without even asking, with the incorrect title of Operation Baja Blast as well, I might add. And apparently the jackasses over on College Humor had a somewhat negative reaction to it, although I can't find any of the comments archived. This whole experience gave Philip second thoughts about uploading the video to YouTube, and ultimately he never did. Thanks a lot, Steve, you fucking prick. Despite this, apparently the video did receive a fair amount of views on College Humor over the years, even inspiring a copycat incident in 2011. On YouTube, you can find some guy made a video called Operation Baja Blast 2, where he and his friends perform a similar caper. However, their setup involves directly filling empty 2-liter bottles. This guy directly cites the original video as an inspiration in the description, so clearly it had some fans. However, as the College Humor site is now defunct, I was afraid this video would be lost to the sands of time. However, there exists one re-upload of it from some random account in 2016 called Re-upped for justice with the description, I did not create this video, I only re-uploaded it. Here's a direct, personal message to you specifically, the person watching this video. If you see an internet video you really like, and you theoretically might want to watch it again someday, you should download it. Don't just assume it'll be there forever, that somebody else will do it. Anything can be taken down at any time for any reason. And the only guarantee you'll ever be able to watch something again is if you literally have it backed up to your hard drive. If you don't know how to download YouTube videos, don't worry, it's simple. Just go to www.google.com and figure it out. Man, what a ride it's been. Thank you for indulging me in listening to this tale, even though I haven't been an active member of the Do community since 2007. I mean, after experiencing the Halo 3 game fuel, it was just impossible to go back to drinking regular piss-flavored default Do. But Baja Blast is pretty good too. A few years back, they almost made it a permanent flavor, However, in what was easily the most contentious election of the year, they held Decision 2016, where it narrowly lost out to Mountain Dew Pitch Black, which doesn't even make any sense because Pitch Black fucking sucks compared to Baja Blast, as clearly evidenced by the fact they already discontinued it as a permanent flavor, so there's no doubt that election was rigged. But don't worry, gang, thanks to exclusive information leaked to the Dew Drinker Discord, we have confirmation that Baja Blast will be returning to store shelves this summer. And there will be some new upcoming seasonal flavors such as Baja Flash and Baja Punch, and new movie tie in flavors like Riddler's Brew. So, in a way, this is considered the good ending to this story. Uh, thanks for watching!